Hey gremlins, how's it going? So today, I need to, I want to make, this is what I wanted to make. This is really what it looks like. Just a simple two-piece set. And I just ordered the shirt, so. But first, to try and make this thing I want to sew, I must first get rid of the mess that is my room. Like this. Okay, it's not that great, but it's been a week and I can't do any more. So let's get into it. Okay, so I don't know if you could see what I was doing right there, but I was making this paper mock-up kind of thing of half of the outfit. Here, I'll show it to you. The pieces, one, two, three, and four. Three fits into four pretty snugly, but I drew it from the perspective of two, so it's upside down. I mean, not upside down, but backwards. Because these two fit together like that, so it goes inward because this is all one continuous piece. There's no middle seam, which I might change that, but I really don't wanna. These are the measurements I am using. I did a little math because my phone was occupied. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna try and do it with fabric. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, in place of mannequin, I have pinned this on myself. But the thing is, this thing was way too high, so I had to cut it like down to my right here and then fold it back so it lines up with my side. See, this is the line I'm probably gonna follow, but I still don't know, and I'm still gonna probably tinker with it. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, it took me forever and I had to stop time lapse, but I finally got all the pieces figured out. Those two at the front, those are connected to that one. That one's connected to that one, and then that's the back, which is the longest one. And I made from the scrap, surprisingly. Um, this one gave me the most trouble, though, as you can see. I had to redo and redo and redo it. That's why I stopped filming the video, but now I'm going to put it all together. Okay, so little update. I'm I sewed it all together, but that wasn't enough. It was very baggy and bulky. So I'm putting a dart in right here at this first side seam from panel one to panel two. And then oh that's falling out, damn it. Um and then from panel two to three, I'm putting another little one another, another little um thing in right here. Same on this side as I one seam, second one, I'm gonna put in. Then the back. All kinds of mess, so I just bunched it up and probably gonna keep it the way it is and just use a belt to keep it in. This is what it looks like, looks like right now, so let's keep going. Boy, this looks freaking awesome. Like, do you see, do you see that? Do you see that? That looks so cool. So I finally managed to, first off, clean my room. And second, it's like a week later, and I finally got the silver cut out, the lining. There it is! All bunched up. So, 
I will be right back when it's all sewn together. I literally just used the same little pattern pieces I used for measurements the first time I made it. And it's probably going to be a little wonky like the first one I made too, but that's okay because I have patience. Sometimes too much. Anyway, I'll be right back and you guys get to see the next thing. Let's go. So I just got the silver all done. This is going to be the inside and it looks freaking awesome. I love it. I'm so glad that I um, used the pattern pieces again instead of just cutting out the basic shape like I did for the other thing that I made. The coat. Anyway, a little bit of stuff right here because when I first made it, that thing, that I didn't have, I didn't do the sleeves right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to um, fix this up, fix the bottom part because it's not even. But, and then the hard part's gonna be trying to tack this to that one. And then the embroidery starts. I'm probably gonna put this into two videos because the embroidery, I don't know. But yeah, the embroidery is gonna take a really long time, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm frustrated. You wanna know why? Because this. I put the landing in, like part way, and then I realized. Hold on. Chuck, 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 chuck. I put it on wrong. <sighs> Okay, after trying to figure out how to finish the armholes forever and a day it seemed, I finally managed to do it. One caveat though, the inside is not as long as it should have been. And so I had to hand stitch that so you don't really see what's going on. Like you can kind of see the outline right here, but thankfully it's not too bad. Now I'm working on um, getting this ready so I can overstitch it because I couldn't figure out a way to understitch it properly. There are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I just recently learned and I know I can't do that with how I did this. But yeah, that's what I'm working on now and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, I've just finished all the um, top stitching. There you go. So it's like a thin blue line all the way around it. You can kind of see it right there. And it goes as far as right here. And it stops. So overall, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna need to have to iron it out still. Uh, that was a plan from the beginning. But I'm gonna finish up all the understitching for this. It's not really understitching, it's just over stitching. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up this and I'll get back to you. I finished hemming all the way around the waistcoat. And so now I made this thing. Its front is the nice royal blue, and the back side is the silver, of course. This is gonna go across the front, as well as another one across the back, but it might be the same side, might be smaller. Um, I also got these pennies to possibly make buttons in the same colorway using the blue and silver fabric. But for the front particularly, I'm gonna be using these buttons. I think they fit very nicely. I got them at Joann's. They're just basic buttons, it cost me like $5. Anyway, I'm gonna get to my dessert, and I'm gonna watch TV. And this is how it's looking so far. Pretty nice. Pretty snug. Need to iron it out still. And the buttons are looking very nice. They're just being held in with pins right now, but I'm gonna sew them in as soon as this video ends. We have a visitor. Hi, Soda. What's up, pretty baby? So far, it's going pretty good. It's a little bustle. Just needs to be ironed out, and then the main part is done. Okay, it's all pressed, and I put on my nice shirt for this. So this is how it would look dressed up, kind of, minus shorts. But yeah, that's pretty much how it looks. I was debating on putting a little square cape over it that would go over the back, but maybe not. Depends on how much fabric I have. Because I still want to make some shorts for this. It's probably going to be the next video. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great day.